Oh, you see it. Back again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're back. But oh, wait. Back. <laughs> 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 Oh, you see it. <laughs> oh, it's time. We back. We back. We back, bitch. Yes. Yes. Yo, it's good. This is Chill. Z Red. Z Fiasco. Mm. Back with another first listen. This time it's the homie Larry June. Adjusted June. to the game. 10 tracks, 25 minutes. That's a short listen. I feel like this is almost like a, a court of law. Y'all gotta prove to me. You can a reasonable doubt so that this dude is fire. Oh, this dude is fire. I'm heating him. <laughs> yeah, Larry, it took, I'm gonna be honest. It took me a second to get on to Larry June because the first song I heard him on was on that whack ass card. Oh, yeah, that card was right. terrible. Oh, was this that one? Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, bro. That was my intro to Larry, and then I heard more songs, and then I came around. Yeah, but that, that first that track was, was terrible. Terrible. Mm. Oh, I'm interested. Mm. Let's do this. I'm ready, man. I'm excited. It just excited. came out too. So I mean, <laughs> he ain't no lyrical spiritual. He but he be saying some cool you, stuff. If you come here for bars and all that extra stuff, you're not gonna get that. You mean, if I come here for rap music, <laughs> I would hope that he's holding something. That's what we have. <laughs> June is cold though, man. Nah, I'm not reserved. He's def June is definitely a how you say it type of cat. But we ain't even gonna waste no more time. This is Larry June, adjust to the game. Let's get it. This is Larry June, track one, and the song title is You Can Get Rich. Mm. Mm. Let's get it. We trying to enjoy our best life. Hey. Not struggle every day. Yeah. Right? Spending <laughs> blood, money on gold, and nice time. $100,000 yes. a month, but keep it in his bag. <laughs> Bruh, I'm fucking with this. What you thinking? First, first, Man. first, first reaction. He's got that smooth ass vibe. It's definitely what you said. It's how he says it. Mm -hmm. He's got that Miami afternoon. Yeah. I'm just driving down the strip. Kind right, of right. I, I like it. But hey, let's get back to it. <laughs> Make the right decision, you get rich, die in prison. You can't call yourself a man if you don't take care of your children. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> you feel the vibes. I know the vibes. All right, so that was track number one, You Can Get Rich. I thought it was dope, man. I definitely love, like you said, I like the sample. Mm -hmm. I like the way he approached the track. Like the, the way you even start out not attacking, just smooth. Super smooth. Just right into your pocket and just riding it the whole way out. That's what I appreciate about him, man. He's not going to give you the full gambit of an MC, but he's definitely giving you a certain vibe, and I fuck with it, man. What'd you think? Hey, hey it's June, man. I put him in like like we always talk about currency. Yeah. You know what to expect when you hear currency, yeah. and June is pretty much doing what I expected. So what's, what's your first thought, you man? Think first song? Yeah, that shit is seven. Mm. Seven out of ten? Seven out of ten. Yeah, it didn't that's do anything. That's high for you, though. That that is. That's, high, that's high for yeah. you, bro. I did, it didn't do anything inventive. Nah. To me, it was very like in its pocket, but very safe at the same time. Like, none of the, all the lyrics were things we've heard before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he if he don't perform at least one of these, though, uh, you can't ride that forever, though. But hey, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number two, we got till next time, love. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here for this. All that. Cardo. Yeah, there's no slap. He's setting the mood. But that's it, like, these bars are facing. Yes. <laughs> Baby, how you doing? I really like your style. I like traveling and buying shit that grow and bad. It's ride music, man. It, it's oh. almost like he's doing the length <laughs> on purpose to get his point yeah. across like more uh, yep. succinct. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Definitely be hitting it. But hey, that was track number two, Till Next Time Love. I like the track, man. Right That's away good. from the beginning, I like the vibes of it. I like the, the simpleness of the hook. It's just enough on the track. Less it is gives more, you exactly man. what you need right then and there, man. So I fuck with it. What you think? He's the king of less is more. Yeah. You rock with it? You mess with the song so far? Yeah, I like, uh, I'm with the shorter track time. Yeah. It's just like the first project 
this has a shorter track list and shorter track times that so far I'm with it yeah, you know, it's, yeah. I know exactly what that song was about for sure it didn't let it ride out or the track breathe like so long that you're Man. like okay finish okay, let's go ahead and get to the next one alright on three we're coming into Organic Dip hey <laughs> change it I did not expect that. I did not either. Bro, whoever did this beat, I thought it was gonna the, it was gonna stay at that same level, Fam, but it dropped. It, but if I was expecting high with low bass, that shit went under bruh. with no bass. And he's no. he's like, in no, a low, pocket I'm too. I'm sorry, with minimal bass, so right. it's just hitting. And he in the pocket. The dope part is it's hitting every instrument. This did this, this mm. bruh. Fucking up my vibe. Spool it back up. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is. You know what this songs make me think of, bro? It makes me think of, you know how when you listen to like an album and like the songs are like three minutes, four minutes, and then you get a dope ass interlude and mm -hmm. you're like, damn, why didn't they make that into a whole song? Mm. I feel like he's making those dope ass interludes into songs. I caught on what you, you were know? saying. That, that, yeah, that is what it's like. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like to me. He gives you dope interlude music. <laughs> but yeah, I digress. Mm. I like that drop. The chorus is kind of weak. That beat is disgusting, bro. But hey, that was track number three, Organic Dip. Man, I like the instrument. I thought it was out of the three, like you said, man, it was probably the most creative. Can we say that? I said that, yeah. Yeah, the most yeah. creative out of the three, but I like what he was doing. I did not like the hook at all. That was my only yeah. gripe about the track, but hey, what'd you think? Yeah, the chorus was kind of weak, but I mean, the verses were cool. The beat yeah. was crazy. It's not a dud. It's my least favorite of the three. What'd you think? I say it's the best so far, mm. just because I, I like the beat. The only thing is, I don't know exactly what that song's about. All the other ones, I got the message clear. Yeah. What does organic dip mean? I think he has a series of songs that's organic, whatever, and he just makes them. So I guess he just added the dip on there. What does that mean? Like a, I think it's just some swag. He does, talk, yeah. To be okay, because he some, talks about going to Whole Kelly Foods shit. and yeah. Yeah, shit like that so how he played the beat was like it came in all happy and cheery and there yeah. was like high violins and saxophone and then when he started rapping he went like this guttural bass and everything was suppressed like yeah. all the saxophone yeah. just sounded way further away yeah yeah i was hoping he would go into like a darker bag here's his happy sunshine and then he was talking about a little about that but then he started doing the decoration and like flossing and swag right, right, right. <laughs> so i really don't know exactly what he meant that's the most creative song so i like it the okay. most yeah Word. i'm gonna I'm be honest i don't think um larry june gonna be able to give you that type of depth <laughs> for like five I think more years a 10 track list i think you should be able to have a clear concept of something I'm sorry. This is track number four called Expensive Roses featuring Chuck English. This is my bold prediction was this one was gonna be different, so I'm gonna we stick to see. it. Right. Let's get it. The bass line? <laughs> All right, he came in. He came Shit. in. Yeah, that bass line was crazy. Shit, he came in. Bruh. I wonder if Chuck did the Apologize. beat. Apologize. <laughs> I got one. Nah. He got one on the board. Go on, bro. That's like saying the Warriors are going one all the way because because Curry's back. Yeah, like, nah. Bro, that was 26 seconds and the way he crushed that shit. I have multiple. God. <laughs> Let's see if you finish it out. All right, right man. man. Let's count our chickens. My bad. That's bro. true. No limit on this card. I'm cat night. Don't want to talk about it, bitch. I make shit happen. Drink. Oh, good. I'm not kicking out the chocolate like a Bobby Brown. That's just the light around. Hey, okay, Chuck. Hey, you know that ice water make that flame disappear. It's just the elements that make the seasons change every year. All right, so that was track number four, Expensive Roses featuring Chuck English. That front, that beginning part, especially how he brought in the track. Bro. Ah, damn. <laughs> Man. He swagged that shit out, bro. God. He, he, woo. His verse, I liked it. I yeah. enjoyed it. He was in his zone. And then Chuck, I normally like Chuck English. I did just, not like yeah. that verse. It sounds terrible to say. He wasn't cool enough. It was like his hella voice wasn't. Too. It yeah. just didn't work. That's just what I thought. Larry I came in and did what Larry does. Like you say, Chuck just didn't sound cool enough. Man, and that's what it was. From it, the cool kids. And it wasn't that his verse was bad. I just feel like his voice didn't fit the song. Yeah. What'd you think, C? 
Man, it's honest. <laughs> what? Be honest. Like, why? I think that as an artist, you gotta listen to the tone of the song. And when someone call you for a feature yeah. and they send you like what yeah. your time slot is mm-hmm. and what this is, and you're just like, nah, I'm gonna switch the whole cadence up. Yeah. I'm gonna start yeah. saying here, here. Like, you're like, nah, man. Like, where you keep that? Right. If you right. sent that to me, I'm like, what are you doing, bro? I yeah. set you up for the three point shot to win the game, and you pulled a J.R. Smith. Man, bro, he teed him up for some cool <laughs> shit. He gave him an alley oop. He teed. He gave me alley oop. You know what it fit on there? The wing weight. <laughs> <laughs> He's a winner yeah, you over gotta here, be, bro. <laughs> what time is it, bro? Yeah. You gotta go home. <laughs> I don't know, man. The song was dope. Nah, I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm actually kind of nervous about the G Perico now. I'm still excited because even if I don't like it, it's gonna be fun to well, do. So let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number five, we got Watering My Plants. Yes. Hey. Yes. Mm. Who's ever produced this, dude? This is it, bro. This is fucking June. Come on, man. That's it, bro. All right, so that was track number five, Watering My Plants. Yeah, bro, you got one. That's it. The way hey, you, hey, out. It's on the board. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sample from, I think it's The Sunshine. I think that's the name of the original. But the way they flipped it, bro. the way he spit his verse, like a jazzed up West Coast. Bruh, the vibe was perfect. Man. It worked for him. I don't even want to waste no more time. Less is best. Woo. So they, the chorus was super simple. Mm. Mm-hmm. Honestly, bro, he ain't even need to rap. He could have literally just been harmonizing. Yeah, like he could have just been doing hey, it out of it. Like how you That's that J. Cole bag though. Like if I do all like J. Cole is that production yeah. right there. That like little bit of like man. man in the back like <laughs> <laughs> that was fire. But you hey man, I, I liked it a whole lot. You liked it. Bro, that's it. Full marks. Bro, I only want to waste some more time, but that on was to the fire. next, man. For our next one, Summer Snow <laughs> featuring G Rico. Oh, get it. Why you looking sexy like that? Quick point. Hair on point and her body like that. I'm working on trying to be the best that I can. I could see this song being on one of the hood movies with dude pulling up, getting out the car, walking up to like the picnic, like I ain't the chick. Man, it's it's cool. It's a vibe. It's cool, it's definitely different. But see, he can do it. Yeah. He can do a little like smooth but complex bar. Your argument is correct, bro. All these dudes can do it. It's just a level of effort. Yeah. And they, they're content with being in their bags, which you can say is limiting, but <laughs> let's go <laughs> back to it. <laughs> Yeah, it's just dope. The beat goes though. You know I fuck with you. I miss you like a motherfucker on Instagram when I ain't doing shit like in pictures that you just posted. I'm happy to find the rhyme. <laughs> Break it down for him. You gotta find the like when you do complex word schemes and rhyme schemes, you have to find rhymes to bridge them with. You can't just say both of them and then when you say that Instagram you just posted, like he didn't what? I think midway through that whole bar setup or whatever you wanna call it, he just knew he couldn't finish it. He yeah, couldn't stick the landing. He knew he couldn't finish it. It's not looking too good for you, G. <laughs> ah, G Perico, you mm-hmm. my guy, but yeah, this ain't the same. You, out, bro. you know you looking good still, want me to make you my bitch. You know I good still. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head out. <laughs> what the? This this is like when the first time I let you hear Larry. Mm, yeah, I, I like that's that. like what Corbin's I'm going through right myself. now. Yeah, like, I'm mad as hell, we kind of put put a little on on G Perico I decent. <laughs> All right, so that was track number six, "Summer Snow" featuring G Perico. June's part was dope. Yeah, June school. The beat's interesting. I guess the hook did work because nobody was doing it besides the sample. This chick, G Perico, so bro. Far. I'm sorry, I was hyping you up. That wasn't it. But usually, I can tell what they were going for. You can always tell what someone was right. going for. What was that weird mind. thing he did mid run? The Instagram, you've been whatever that was, oh, and then God. it was it was progressively getting worse. And then when he hit that, that's when it was just like, all right. But you have to tie it up. Like when you do those kind of complex yeah. rhymes, you gotta tie it up. I don't even know what to say because I don't even know what he was trying to do. This is one that I, I honestly could probably skip. I just wish somebody else was on it because I did like the beginning. Yeah, June did his thing, but it's just like <sighs> so it was a commercial beat. 
Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. There was literally a lot of strikes against it beforehand. Yeah. Go ahead and get to the next one. All right. We got a uh, track number seven, Organic Shark Tales, featuring Shezzy. Have to leave that bitch alone. She know I'm worth it. You just have to purchase fake diamonds. That ain't her. She ain't worth it. Let's pull up to my show and excursions. <laughs> <laughs> This ain't it, bro. What? Are All right. Yo. Dun, 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 dun. This is some Cassidy beats. This is what, <laughs> this is what Cassidy I'm, beats. I'm not. You got a beat from Cassidy? Bro, I'm bro. dead. We are 22 <laughs> seconds in, and I don't even want to hear no more, bro. I, I have done. Mm. I want to hear at least what he's saying, though. Right. Because I felt like he was rapping. <laughs> yeah, this shit. Packages, I'm doing math. Every day was Christmas season. I was what? Back. Find the beat. Oh. oh. The beat just sucks. The beat's not good. Trash. I don't, like, I don't even like Larry on this shit. Can we just? Nah, bro. We gotta let it do its thing, man. I'm dying. I know. That was track number seven, Organic Shark Tales featuring Chazzy. Let's throw the whole track away, bro. That's, that, that's for track the, eight. The whole thing. I'm not even gonna. That's I ain't terrible. gonna hold you, bro. Like that was. Mm. Let's go ahead and get to the next track, bro. <laughs> All right, coming in at track number eight, we got financial freedom. I'm dedicated, highly educated, most calculated. When I spit these raps, it's like restoration. I come from an ill or cook coke. He's back to his bag. Yeah. Candy house. I should have bought some Amazon stock, but I bought the watch. Everything I do is not perfect, but I learned a lot. I should have bought the house before the whip. But I kind of need it, though. It's typical Larry, man. He snapped on that one. That was track number eight, Financial Freedom. It was dope, man. It wasn't one of my standouts, but it was dope. It was more of him back to his shit after those two features that weren't that good, so... Yeah. I liked it, man. What you think? No features, and he was in his bag. The beat, the beat was cool. It was cool. It wasn't like a standout for the, for the ones that we like, but... I like it. I thought it was it was solid. Yeah. See, solid. That was a solid track. I don't I got no. Uh, I don't got any praise or any uh, negative points. Well, let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, coming in at track number nine, we got Match It with Harry. NFTFF. He's no player, man. <laughs> Waiting for it to drop. To be honest, I don't really like the beat. I just think it's boring. The yeah, whole yeah. Thing. there you go. There you like, go. he just lost me, man. Song. When he's not interesting, the song drags. Yeah, true. Like, the opening line was money. And then yeah, I thought yeah. he was going to build, and then it was just, nah. Because I thought the beat was going to drop. And yeah. then I, but then it just Larry don't really gain steam though. He's one, true, true as yes. one team even the whole way. He yeah. don't really rise. Yeah. All right, so that was track number nine, Matcha with Harry. Uh, throwaway track for me, just to be honest. It wasn't like the feature tracks were actually worse than this, but I was very bored. It dragged. <laughs> it did. I can definitely not listen to this one again. Facts. So. See? Nah, yeah. B, whack. <laughs> Subject matter, whack. Yeah, yeah. The bars and layer structure, whack. Yeah. 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 The overall tone, whack. The opening line, no. That was fire. Yeah. So far, what I'm noticing is it's not them coming at Larry doing too much, but even the ones I really like, they're uh, he's leaning on. His beats way too much. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not even. Uh, I honestly do something like Igor with uh, Tyler, Tyler at this point, and just give me the instrumentals and your ad libs, and I would rock with that. Yeah. I really don't even need your bar so far. That's yeah, that's fair, man. That is fair. That's why I like having other people in on this, so you get different feels, man. Yeah. All right, so this is the last track on the album. It's track number ten, "A Million Not Enough." You were saying it earlier, he had the opportunity to take off on this shit. Like, you didn't even have the bar. You could have just gotten to a different bag or a different set of bars and it would have been 
Mm. All this stuff is like Saturday morning cleaning music from my childhood. But his but like the million not enough. He said California, a million's not enough. Then he said San Francisco, a million's not enough. Like, well, if you got ten tracks, man, you got to do some bars, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. It's the beats. I mean, he he does rely a lot on the beats. Not all the beats that he pick are perfect beats that complement his voice, but the ones that he get right, fuck. Let's go ahead and finish it out. Oh, what? He was just on the song. I know. He was trying to get in his bag. All right, so that was track number 10, A Million's Not Enough. Um, it was a decent track. He, he just didn't do much. I'm not disappointed because like Larry puts out so much music, man. What'd you think of the last track and then what we'll um, your thoughts? Honestly, I felt like the whole time I was waiting for it to go one more level. Yeah. And it, he stayed it, it never year. did. But I mean, it wasn't bad. It's, it's not a, it's not a throwaway, but it's one that I could probably do without. Yeah. So. Yeah. See? See? I, I think you guys nailed it. Any criticism I have, I've been saying for 10 tracks. Yeah. So I, I don't. The whole album, my opinion of the full project is, it was decent, man. I've listened to a lot of his music within a short time frame. And one thing I've been aware of is that he'll have like four or five from a project on. But the rest of them, you'd be like, skip, skip, yeah. skip. I'm not surprised by the outcome of this. Like we like yeah. what? Four? I would say four out of the 10. Well, that we, we like, yeah, that one, we like four two, of them out of three. the 10. And that was out of a 25 minute project. That's that's typical June. I'm giving the whole project like a six. Or so like yeah, I was first listen. I, I would say probably about a six. And my thing too is like this is one of his projects where I feel like the 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 songs I don't like took it down. <laughs> they took yeah, it took it down. Took like it down. typically his good songs can make it to where you're like all right, cool. But this one, I just feel like it was literally G Perico. That was terrible. Yeah. Organic Shark Tales was terrible. Yeah. Financial Freedom was okay, but then Match with Harry, and then the last two were, it just didn't end good. It started, it actually yeah. started great, and mm -hmm. then it was just tapered down. Yeah. So, see? I don't know if I don't know if I can rate it high as the six, bro. Hey, that's all good. Uh, that's all. But he, he did, Organic Dip was very good, but now that I'm thinking about it, it was like the things I love about it are all production. Watering My Plants was, that was God mode. I'll give him that one. That was a really, that was a really good track all around, but I don't think, if he would have took his voice out of it, I wouldn't have missed anything. Like he didn't True. perform. And when, what I think about music is that I'm not trying to hate on anyone. I feel like it should be some showcase of uh, poetic intent in some sort of skill. All this, I think we could have, besides those two tracks, I don't think we could have touched. Yeah. Besides that, I think we could have got the beats and did the same thing. And I'm not willing to pay or support at this point because i don't know his discography like you guys do yeah. yeah anything that i feel that me or my friends could do when we're drunk you know like it's <laughs> it's not and, and that's hard to say because when you look at those two tracks they stand out i say oh four i'm sorry the one two one two three and five five expensive rose the beginning part was hard right you look at those and you're like <laughs> i can't do that i see why yeah. you have an album and then the rest of them you're like yeah especially when you let chesy on the track what what would you rate it like out of ten? I don't really rate much, but hey, right. it's fun to do. I'm at a six because I'm I'm mine is on a what do you call it a slant or whatever. My shit's kind of I'm grading it to him based on what we've heard, or prior. what I've seen, oh, okay. and what is like the shit from him. It's like I think that's a six. That's not him swinging. Like, I've only heard the other project that he was featured on and yeah. this, so Ooh, my yeah. is going the other way. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have to say like a four. And that's fair. Honestly, I'd still say check it out if you definitely. Because the thing about June, uh, even Wiz and Currency, I mean, old, old Wiz, it's niche music. Like, it's, yeah. it's people listening to this specific style. So if you like the Wiz, the Currency, the LES, if you like that yeah. style of music, I say check it out. Otherwise, you can probably just skip over it. Yeah. If no anything, it's 25 minutes, man. Maybe give a yeah. couple skips. Yeah. You may hear something you like, but... Yeah, let me let me alter that. Let me go to... I'll go up to the six mm -hmm. with you guys. Because of the concise messaging of each track. Yeah. Like, you didn't have to sit through. If you didn't like it, it wasn't like much. True. And the stuff that you did like was so concise to like the first track. So yep. I was listening. You know what this song's about. Even the songs that we think are throwaway. I look at Financial Freedom and I'm going to get a song about Financial Freedom. Or his opinion of Financial Freedom. Yeah. So I will go up to six. Because some people, even if they have better ability, convoluted ass albums be like, True. dude, I'm done with I don't even want to listen to this. just hitting you over the head with content for no reason. And I, it's some songs I'm definitely going, I can't wait to get in the car and listen to the ones we like. So. 
Thanks. All right, so that was Larry June, Adjust to the Game. Uh, tell us if you heard the project. Tell us what you thought about it. Is this your first time hearing it with us? Do the same in the comments. But this is chill. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Z. Fiasco. Until next time. Peace. Peace.